Greetings, greetings, greetings to you all, souls out there. This is your Lordship, Richard Fata. Welcome this day, the month of July. This morning, I want you all to pay very close attention to this mystery that I want to share to help illuminate your spiritual path and your spiritual goals. This is about prayer. This is about what? Prayer. I want to give you out the, the mystical keys about prayer and how spiritual attack do take place in the life of many souls out there. So pay close attention to this teaching. This is to help you illuminate your spiritual journey. Come. We read in the Bible somewhere in Psalm 91. Psalm 91, verse 5 to 7. Where David said, I read. Psalm 91, verse 5 to 7, he says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at new day. One may ask that, Father, what is the mystery? What is the mystery and the mystery Behind this citation, behind this Bible verse of Psalm 91, verse 5 to 7, I read again. Thou shalt not be afraid by the terror by night, nor by the arrow that fly by day, nor by the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor the destruction that wasted a new day. This is a mystery. Most Christians and most spiritual people don't know the mystery behind this citation, behind this clause. And this morning, I want to unveil it to you the best of your knowledge. This is a, um, a mystery that um, was just revealed to me by the angel that I work with this midnight. Psalm 91 verse 5 to 7. Thou shalt not be afraid with a terror by night, nor not other that fight by daytime. But the person that walk by darkness, nor the destruction that waits at new day. Let me give you the key here. Sometimes I see some group of Christians, or some group of people who normally pray in the midnight at certain hours, which is very wrong. Very wrong in such a way that the profile of spirituality there are dimensions and hierarchy of doing things there are orders there are orders when it comes to spiritual instruments of operations and so violating these regulations causes chaos in the life of the individual who engage himself or herself in this activity Praying in the midnight, especially 1 a.m. to between 1 a.m. to 2.30 a.m. in the midnight or at dawn is very risky. It's very what? It's very what? Risky. It's good, but it's risky. Why am I saying it's risky? Praying in the midnight is not for the inexperienced Christian or is not for inexperienced believer or is not for the inexperienced individual who is not well versed in the instrument of spiritual operations. And so, when you pray in the midnight and the evil forces or the demons Notice that there are loopholes in your spiritual groundings 
but there are loopholes in your spiritual life they begin to attack you mysteriously behind the scene. Praying in the midnight is only for the experienced spiritual worker. Somebody who has, who has advanced in the instrument of spiritual operation. Somebody who is well established in the groundings of spiritual works. And so when you are not a born again, or when you are not baptized both in the Holy Spirit, both within yourself, and you engage in midnight prayers between 1 a.m. to 2 30. 2.30 a.m. you are causing more harm to yourself than good. Now, people just wake up and create groups on WhatsApp and Facebook and other social media platforms and engaging people randomly in midnight prayers is risky. Because before you engage in midnight prayers, you have to go through systems of spiritual cleansing systems of spiritual cleansing there are dimensions of spiritual cleansing one of them is the spiritual bath one of them is spiritual fasting one of them is spiritual meditation one of them is giving of our arms when you don't qualify in any of these five dimensions to eliminate yourself to prepare you in midnight prayers you are causing loopholes they are loopholes that the demons is going to take advantage for to nullify your prayers to nothing And it's very risky. So our advice that before you engage in midnight prayers, you have to go through serious spiritual cleansing, serious deliverance, serious prayer, but by your Godfather. And this will initiate you to prepare you for the battlefield in midnight prayers. You don't just wake up and pray in the midnight, it's dangerous. You have to prepare yourself spiritually by going through spiritual cleansing. Spiritual fasting, spiritual meditation, spiritual deliverance. This is to prepare you and shield you, shield your spirit from any evil spirit monitoring. A soldier cannot go to war un unprepared. A militant cannot go to a war un unprepared. Before you go to the battlefield, you have to be prepared spiritually. A soldier cannot launch the battlefield without ammunition and so spiritual warfare you have to be prepared spiritually in such a way that when the demons try to fire the arrow your spirit can resist those arrows behind the scene even without your knowledge all right so don't just wake up and be praying at midnight you have to go through categories you have to go through series of spiritual workouts before it to qualify you and prepare you for that battlefield. Else, you are causing more harm than good. In a part two, I'll be teaching about the mystery and the hours appropriate for you to what? To pray and to attain victory. That's why most of you are praying at midnight and nothing's happening. And the devil is just laughing at you. Those demons are laughing at you. Because you are just a big joker. You have not spiritually prepared yourself within and without to go to that battlefield. So in the part two, I'll be teaching about the mystery, how to pray in the midnight, how to initiate your spirit, your soul in the power dimensions of the Holy Spirit. These teachings is not only for the Christians. Everybody can tap from this wisdom. So in the part two, I'll be teaching those mysteries. I leave you here in the light, love, love of the cosmic. Please, your Lordship, each other, Father, is profound. <laughs>